Hello, I'm Gary Brantner of Rentnarb Studios Comics, and this is my show where I talk about the comics I have backed, got in the mail, or have read. Um, so I usually start these out with what of what's on Kickstarter that you guys should know about. And the first up is Hollowed issues one and two. It ends on July. Uh, it ends on June 22nd. So get in on that one. Wait, is that right? It has 62 hours to go, so you better get in on that one as soon as you can. Uh, Hollowed Issues 1 through 2, it is about the adventures of two detectives that, as they hunt down a serial killer that hollows out his victims. Um, yep, check that one out on Kickstarter. It's got 60 hours to go. Get in on that one. Next up that you should know about is Miskatonic High, number 7. And uh, as you know, I am a fan of Miskatonic High and its uh, gray kind of halftone coloring to it. Let me see, show you there. But it's got some uh, bright pinks and bright blues that pop on each page. Definitely a great story if you're into that uh, mystery monster of the week kind of uh, Archie Riverdale storyline. Um, yeah, it, it follows a Lovecraftian story in each issue where one issue could be about a ghost, the next one can be about a psychic or a rat girl. There's a lot of different storylines. Get in on this one. It's on issue 7. I recommend you get all 7 of them or get the trade and uh, the issues that follow that. Next up on my Kickstarter list that you should know about is Maybe Someday. Maybe Someday is an anthology series. Uh, it follows after All We Ever Wanted. That's one that I wanted to back, but I, I didn't have the chance to back it at the time, so now I'm getting All We Ever Wanted and maybe someday through the same Kickstarter. It has seven days to go. You, yeah, definitely check out that one. It's got a lot of good artists in it. Um, I have never backed an anthology before, but hopefully it's up my alley with all these different artists in it and Whatnot. Another, the next up on my list is Duplicant One through Three. I actually haven't read Duplicant One yet. It is in my read pile. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to be doing a review of it soon. But Duplicant is about um, cloning, so that uh, recipients can have uh, cloned organs that are healthy and brand new. And these people with cloned organs inside them are treated as second-class citizens so it'd be it's gonna be interesting to read that one I'm really into cloning so this concept of having cloned organs inside you uh, to make you healthier is it's interesting so that's definitely gonna be right up my alley and let's see here yeah uh, I'm sure I'm gonna do a review of duplicate very soon Next up on my list is Adept. Adept is, uh, I'm not even sure what it's about. All I know is Charlie Stickney's name is involved in it. And so that made me get on board right away. Um, let's see. Yeah. I'll have to read that later uh, to get more... Uh, attuned to what it's about, but if Charlie Stickney is on board, he uh, he does White Ash and the game, and so so far, if he's if he's on board, I'm on board. Uh, it's because White Ash is an awesome story. The game started out really good, so I can't wait till issue two hits Kickstarter. And um, yeah, I'm sure this adept will end up at Scout Comics. They're doing some awesome stuff over at Scout Comics uh, with the uh, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse, and I've picked. I just recently got an order of uh, Canopus, and. Oh, shoot, what else is in that order? I'm sure when I do the reviews of those, I'll be better at explaining that. Um, so, Adept has got until the middle of July sometime. It's got 20 days, it says on here. So, check out Adept on Kickstarter right now. 20 days to go. And last but not least is Lafay number three. 
Um, I have backed Lefay 1 and 2. I haven't read 2 yet. It's in my read pile also. But I was so blown away by uh, Lefay number 1 that I, as soon as this one hit, I jumped on board. I jumped on board number 2 also, but I, I just barely got that in the mail right before this one hit. It's got 15 days to go on Lefay. So Lefay is about uh, Morgan Lefay. The ancient fairy warlock witch uh, with sorceress, um, she had wings, she was a fairy, and uh, Merlin, Arthur's magician, uh, ripped those off of her back and uh, put her in a deep sleep. She woke up in our time, and uh, she is currently working off of a debt of the people that woke her up. She has to be a slave for them, and basically... She is a private detective until her debt is paid off. And it, the artwork is really good. I'm I'm really enjoying what's going on. That cover looks awesome. I can't wait to get that book. That's the cover I opted for. There is a couple naughty covers because um, most of the story is not safe for work, so do not buy this for your kids. But if you're into uh, good adult stories, check that one out. So that's the end of the Kickstarter segment of my video. Now we're going to go on to mail. As you know, I just recently got these bad boys. Let's see, is it going to zoom up? This is a whole bag of Rentnarb Studios pins. So I'm working on the kick on the Kickstarter. Um, shoot, what is it? Surveys. I'm working on the Kickstarter surveys. Sorry about I'm being like bleh, absent-minded. So my surveys will be out soon. I was working on a backer kit, but they wanted a big chunk of uh, what I got, so it would make no sense at all to use Kickstarter when I only got 300 bucks for my thing. So that's fresh from my mailbox. Another thing out of my mailbox is Starlight, number one. And uh, this is one I backed on Kickstarter a little while ago, but now I've got it in the mail, so... That's going to the read pile. My read pile is a little bit crazy right now, so it'll take a while till I review that one. So first up on my reviews, um, this one comes from a bundle I got from. I listened to a podcast called uh, Comics Launch, and it's from Tyler James. Uh, he he tells you how to in his podcast he gives you tips on how to make a good Kickstarter and uh, how to make good rewards all sorts of different topics he talks to different artists and that and one of the ads in his is for a place called uh, Comics Impressions and he off they offer a thing to Comics Launch listeners that if you uh, message them they will send you a sampler pack basically this this is an example of what kind of covers they do. They sent me a whole bunch of these and uh, I got a bunch of comics that are printed so this is what I'm reviewing today. Uh, I read this while I was at Plasma today. You may have noticed the blue armband on me. Uh, I donate Plasma as a second income so while I'm there I read comics. Breathers here is by Justin Madsen and it looks like Justin Madsen does the whole thing. Uh, he's the colorist, the artist, the writer, the whole nine yards. There's a cover B by Jeff Lemire, but I obviously have the Justin Madsen cover. It's very cool looking. Uh, I like the style he does it in. And so, just, The Breathers is about another world. Um, it ha I haven't got to find out why they have to wear br uh, breathing masks everywhere they go. So they're out in public. Um, anytime they are outside, period, they have to wear breathing masks. But as you can see here, when they're inside, like this lady and her daughter, uh, they don't have to wear breathing masks while they're inside. But they do when they're whenever they're outside. So it starts off with this girl. She gets a call. And... Uh, Somebody wants her to do a job. 
and she's reluctant to take the job, and her daughter comes bugging her and saying, Mommy, Mommy, I want to go outside and play, all that kind of stuff, you know. And so she goes outside with her dragon. Then it shows a little uh, discourse between uh, the daughter and the dragon, kind of a Calvin and Hobbes scenario, where she, her uh, stuffed animal is her imaginary friend. So it's interesting, but while she's outside, you can see her wearing her mask. And then it does another, a second story about a detective, and he busts a drug dealer. Wait, no, that's the third story. The second story is about a guy in a coffee shop, and he asks out this lady that had to go to work at the coffee shop. Then the third story is about a detective who busts a uh, person in the park selling filters that go into these masks they breathe and I guess the filters he sells have drugs in them or something so yeah this is a really cool story that I just happened to get from a sampler pack from comic impressions they make a good comic book it looks like um, it doesn't look like I'll switch from who I go to to go to comics impressions though because um, I am happy with using Kablam printing uh, check out Kablam printing they they have a good system where they print your comic books and then they also uh, sell them on their IndiePlanet.com store. You can go to IndiePlanet.com and uh, download my Peter Pan the Vampire comics issues 1, 2, and 3 for free. Or you could actually buy the hard copies there. And So there, that's a good setup to be able to get my books printed and uh, a good place for me to sell them where I don't have to actually handle them at all. They just print them up and send them out to the people. But Comics Impressions, they do a good job. Check them out for the Comic Sampler Pack. I have a few in my read pile that are from Comic Impressions. But this one, it was really good. Drawn really well. I'll have to look up, look up Justin Madsen and uh, see what else he's been doing. Maybe get issue two and whatever follow-up issues. This was done in uh, the fall of 2019. So it's kind of weird to be reading about a world where they have to wear masks outside when this was written at a time before now. So there's my first review. Second review is a, a story called Tilt. This is Tilt Issue 1. And Tilt Issue 1 by Ooh, that's very fine print. Let me get closer. Until issue one, it's by Catalyst Comics, and it is written by Aaron Dowan, illustrated by Joe DeSantos, and colored by Raymond Amancio, with a special cover by Matt Sotelo. So yeah, Catalyst Comics is one I've backed before. Um, a Paradigm, I think, is the issue I backed. This is in that same universe, I think. Basically, Tilt is a character who... Uh, he was approached by the government as a kid when he exhibited powers. And so they started training him. He escapes. And uh, when he grows up in the city as a homeless person, after that, uh, he decides to set out and uh, find out who this organization was that trained him on his powers came to him and found did all that stuff, took him from his family and uh, yeah, th there's something in here I'll explain in the next issue but right now I'm I'll go into here's issue 2 by the same creative team uh, where's the credits page so issue 2 by Catalyst Comics is also written by Aaron Dowan, illustrated by Joe DeSantos, colored by Ramon, Ramon, Raymond, Amancio, and the main cover by Matt Sotelo. So, in issue two, uh, he furthers his investigation, finding out who this company was, this organization was that a uh, co-opted his childhood and trained him on how to be this and that and. So he, he furthers that investigation. He t keeps talking to this guy named Exquisite. He keeps breaking into his office, asking him questions and stuff. Getting leads, but that seem to go nowhere. It's like he, the guy is uh, stringing him along. 
one of the main reasons I backed this issue is uh, they had a, a reward for it um, to have your ad put in the book. So I backed it to the tier where I got my ad put in this book. Um, so every reader of Tilt sees my thing, knows what I'm about, all that fun stuff. Um, so the artwork is done really well. I think... Uh, Oh man, what's his name? Shoot. The artist's name, uh, Joe DeSantos, in this one. I think he does uh, figures very well. He's very good at faces and uh, anatomy and all that. But one problem I do have with this uh, illustration style is when he breaks into the office of that one guy. Let's see, it, when he breaks into Exquisite's office, I'll go back to issue one on that one. There is nothing on the walls, nothing on the desk, all, like the office is completely barren, no bookshelves, no books, no certificates of, impl of uh, business or all that fun stuff that usually is in an office of someone who actually works. And it seems kind of weird if he's like so high up in business that that he doesn't have anything in his office. So if I have one complaint about these, like here you see a big penthouse suite, and as you can see there is hardly anything in it. So it kind of confuses me when uh, there are no details in drawings, like things that show a, a room or an office is actually lived in or worked in. But other than that, like I said, uh, the coloring is done really well. The proportions on people's faces and uh, anatomy and physiques are done really well. So overall, it's it's a good story about him chasing this lead, find, trying to find out who uh, trying to find out who uh, trained him and what this organization is, and uh, let's see, all that fun stuff. So if I do have one suggestion, it's. Uh, that the artist uh, gets a little more self-conscious about putting uh, details into the artwork, like uh, th making it look lived in. Um, yeah. So that's my reviews today. Breathers and Tilt. Uh, check them out. You can find them on the social medias. I haven't looked up the Breathers artist yet, but... Yep. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for watching. Sorry I've kind of stammered my way through this, but I'm kind of new at this, and uh, I just do what I can. And I need to get those Kickstarter reward surveys done, get those out to people, and uh, then I can get back into drawing my comic book. Then I'll do a Kickstarter for Peter Pan the Vampire 4. But, yep, gotta get the main things done. Uh, things have been hectic with uh, the kids being home from school, and so I'm not, I'm trying to figure out a way to do this as you can see, my office is a basement, so until uh, I get things better situated, that's how it's going to go. Um, right now, my comics are, my collection is a mess right now because I'm transferring from one style of totes to a new style of totes um, to, that'll better facilitate holding my comics, and sorry, gone on too long, so that's the end of my show. Thank you for joining Renarb Studios Comics show, and this is the end. Watch out when I turn it off.